Hi guys, welcome to this tutorial. This is Marco from Gallery Play, and today I'm going to be showing you how to loop your time lapse seamlessly using Adobe After Effects. So let's get right into it. The first thing we want to do is import our time lapse. Now, I've already assembled my time lapse into a video file, and I suggest you do the same. Once uh, this is imported into the project, we can create a new composition by simply dragging and dropping it onto this composition icon. As you can see, our time-lapse now appears in the timeline. It's currently a little bit long. It's timing in around 12 seconds. We recommend um, shortening your clips to 10 seconds or less. The reason is that a lot of our, cl our clients actually purchase this kind of content uh, for use on their website as wallpaper. And so it's in their interest for the clips to be short and small in file size to keep their websites loading quickly. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull this back and reduce the length, the duration of this clip to just under 10 seconds. Now that that's done, I am going to take the cursor and position it somewhere near the middle of the, the clip. It doesn't have to be in the exact center. It doesn't really matter where we place it, just somewhere around the middle. And we're then going to go to Edit and Split Layer. You can also use the shortcut Shift Command D for this. And that is basically splitting your original clip into two and positioning uh, those clips on two separate layers. What we're going to do now is we're going to reverse the order of these two. So we're going to take this upper clip and actually move it to the very front of the timeline. And we're going to take the the lower clip and pull it back to kind of behind the, the upper clip. But we're gonna leave a little bit of an overlap. Um, about a second, 20, 25 frames is usually sufficient. Um, but don't worry too much about that. You can tweak that later. Now that we've done that, what we want is we actually wanna blend or fade in this, this upper clip um, into the lower one. And the way to do that in after Effects is to go to your transform controls and actually keyframe the opacity. So go to the beginning of the overlapping region. So this is our overlap right here. And I've moved the cursor back to the very beginning. Um, I'm now going to hit the stopwatch and create a keyframe here, which I'm going to leave at 100%. Um, and I'm going to move the cursor to the very end of the overlap or near the end of the overlap and create another keyframe. But this time I'm going to take the opacity down to 0%, which is in effect fading out this upper layer. We can see what that looks like if we uh, deactivate the lower layer. And as you can see, it is now fading to black because we have a black background. And that's exactly what we want. So let's let's reactivate this layer. And essentially, we are now fading the upper one into the lower one. And that's pretty much it, because now um, it should no longer be possible to see any kind of hard or jump cut. And we can test this by just adjusting the in and out points a little bit. And basically, just playing back, it's going to be a little bit choppy initially because it's rendering. Here we are coming up to the transition. Let's take a look. Yeah, that looks pretty smooth. It's impossible to tell where the video begins and where it ends. The transition is invisible to the naked eye. And that is exactly what we're aiming for, exactly what we want. And that's it. It's now ready to be exported. And that brings us to the end of this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. And remember, if you have a lot of this kind of content and you'd like to monetize it, do apply to Gallery Play. Uh, simply go to www.galleryplay.com slash application and send us a few examples of your work. We're always uh, looking for new creators to collaborate with and to add to our roster of loop experts. And we look forward to seeing your time lapses.